Hello, this is Jesse Bourne. Welcome to the Puzzle Box office. Today, I'm gonna to take you on a tour and show you all the cool things that got done here this month. So let's get going. Let me just start with uh, this right here, which is a puzzle chest that's all packed up and it's ready to go out. So I just uh, sprayed it in uh, this plywood and I screw it together really well. And that makes sure that uh, when the postal service drops, kicks it to the customer's door, that it stays intact. And so far it's actually been working really well. So, you know, just, just take time when you're packing stuff. I, I put another layer of foam. And so I wrap it twice in foam and I crate it and then I have uh, polystyrene sheets that go all the way around, like in this one. That one's all done, ready to be shipped here. We have another one that just needs to be QC'd, quality controlled, check over everything, make sure it's working good. And then I just gotta get the booklet and sign the booklet. My sister did all the paperwork for these booklets, turned out better than I could have done myself. Just show you some of the, you know, that's like the history. Um, and then certificate with a nice Picote spine on it. Of course, it's got the solution pages in there so that you can flip through. And it's got a QR code so you can scan it and go right to the solution video that I made. Uh, a customer a long time ago asked me to make a little stand for the chest. So this is made out of blood wood and it just adds a nice contrast to the chest and it holds it up like this. And I actually just really like it because it's easy to move around. And, uh, you know, I, I set the chest on here so that they don't scuff up underneath, but this thing just keeps it off the ground and it keeps it from scratching. How cool is that? I actually really like it. I think it's a really great mod. So the puzzle chests are going great. So we're making two things in here. We're making puzzle chests and we're making sea chests right now. So you can see how the puzzle chests are progressing. After tomorrow, there's only going to be 14 of these in the shop because the rest are, are all shipped, so that's great. The other thing we're shipping is sea chests. So you can see there's a couple right here. This is number five and six. So those are being cut every week on the CNC right here. But as soon as I get all of these shipped out, then will be more production, will be a higher volume every single week. So that brings me to the jig of the month, which is this thing. This is where we do the hand detailing for the sea chests. And we just use a mortise bit in here and we punch down and we do some hand detailing. It kind of looks like this. So this is the kind of cool card look that it gives us. And we put that in a couple different places here on the sea chest to add some depth. The cool thing about this jig is it tells you right on there the Y0. Turn this thing on, this uh, digital readout, and it will tell you exactly where the Y is. So right now the Y is set to 0 0.045, which is what is set on this jig. So now we know that we're gonna be in the exact center of this piece when we go to do the detailing, and you just crank down like this the big handle here and that is just way faster just figuring out little things like that is super key for just making the process better because also it, it turns out into into a better product okay so you saw the jig of the month but now we're going to go to the mo workshop modification or improvement of the month so check this out this is my disc sander and i use this all the time going back and forth it's super handy having a bench top model right here it saves me a ton of time check this out Three, two, one. So I have this dust collector. This is a, just a mini shop bag. It costs like 43 bucks. That's hooked up with a hose dedicated to this sander right now. And that's great because it doesn't throw a bunch of dust into the air and make you cough and sneeze as you're sanding anything. Super easy to turn on because I just put a little foot switch on the floor here. You know, a disc sander, something like a disc sander isn't dangerous. You know, you're not gonna 
hurt your hands if you accidentally step on that. But it's actually, I put it back in there far enough so that it's hard to, 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 to reach if you're not actually going for it. But uh, it's, it's, it's amazing because it's hands free, so you just grab a piece, go them over here, and it takes away all the dust and it doesn't require extra hand time to flick this thing off and on. And it's great. Now I want some of those on like all the machines. <laughs> like now another thing, the drill press uses a. T there's always like a ton of chips at the bottom of the drill press because we use that a bunch. So it'd be nice to have like a lock line or something coming over the top so to take the dust extraction. Um, so that is the uh, shop modification of the month. Funny thing is, I haven't used this planer in a few weeks. Um, just because I'm taking, I'm using the joiner so much and then I go right from the joiner to the table saw and to the CNC. The CNC does such a good job of planing off the boards to a uh, super precise depth every time itself. I'm going to try to be making these every single month so check back again in about 30 days if you want to see another one. And uh, I'm sending this out with my MailChimp newsletter so if you want to sign up for that it's on my website. All right, well that about does it for this shop update tour. Thanks everybody for watching. 